This week in Louisiana agriculture, Louisiana cotton growers learn the days of direct payments may soon come to an end. I'm AJ Sabine here at Natchitoches Parish where arson has destroyed this truck as well as the home of a sheriff's deputy. How can you help? I'll tell you more coming up. Well, it's the peak of sweet potato harvest, but these tractors aren't digging a thing. I'm Kristen Oaks and I'll tell you why coming up. Hi, I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us. Michael Dana has the week off. This will be a farm bill debate unlike any other. That's the word from the vice president of the National Cotton Council. This week, Louisiana cotton growers learned that the National Cotton Council has a proposal for Congress to do away with direct payments and counter cyclical payments and replace those programs with a government subsidized shallow loss crop insurance program. Cotton farmers may have to change their budgets because the federal government will likely change the farm bill. Dr. Gary Adams is the vice president of economic and policy analysis for the National Cotton Council. He's telling this group of cotton farmers and ag experts in Monroe about how his group would like to see Congress change the cotton portion of the farm bill. He says the NCC's proposal would end direct and counter cyclical payments to farmers and establish a subsidized crop insurance program designed to protect farmers' income. Perhaps a loss as, as small as five percent in their expected revenue. So over the years, uh, cotton has been reduced in many parts of the country and people who have been getting direct payments and not producing cotton has been a tough, tough issue to stand up in front of the community, let alone Congress, and say, why are you being paid for nothing? Jay Hardwick is a cotton farmer and former chairman of the National Cotton Council. He says a crop insurance program in which the federal government pays 80 percent of the premium and could pay farmers when prices dip below 65 cents per pound is the viable solution given the budget crisis and challenges to U.S. cotton policy filed with the World Trade Organization by Brazil. The public is concerned about expenses on commodities, and this program gets very much to that. A Brazil success successfully brought a challenge on cotton programs and and now we're in a phase where we have to address that as part of uh, part of the development of the 2012 farm bill. Well I think the time has come with the financial situation in the country uh, that we have to make these changes. George LaCour grows cotton in Point Capi Parish, but he knows what's going on in Washington, D.C. Because Congress has appointed a super committee to cut the federal budget by $1.5 trillion, that committee is very involved in all farm bill discussion, with very tight deadlines culminating with a plan by January 15th next year. Regardless, LaCour is hopeful. I think right now cotton has a bright future. A dollar pound cotton is a dollar pound cotton. Another concern growers have about this proposal is that it must first get approval from the USDA's Risk Management Agency. Louisiana Farm Bureau Associate Commodity Director Brian Bro pointed out at that meeting that it sometimes takes the RMA years to approve new crop insurance programs. We'll have a follow-up to this story next week when LSU Ag Center economist Mike Selassie will join us on set to discuss this and other changes coming in the 2012 Farm Bill.